hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the Emma Gardner channel. So today it's going to be something a little bit different and the reason why it's so dark out here is because um, I was going to show you the, the bee colonies here and if you don't notice I do have three and believe it or not we actually had a fourth swarm and it's behind you way back there. I just captured it so that's why there's an open gap here because I had to swap out a box so that I could capture it and I'm letting them set. Um, but the thing is, is I was, I was going to actually open up the boxes, but, um, you know, I, I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm actually going to just to speak about the bees and about some beekeeping techniques and stuff, um, simply because there have been a ton of questions about it. And a lot of people were wondering about the first video that I did, uh, titled, Am I Gardener Has Bees? And that's where there was actually a swarm right back there in the back, uh, on the back fence there. And a lot of people had been asking about it. And so I wanted to answer some of those questions now. And I wanted to show you the, the bees, but they've been through a lot of stress. And I'm just actually letting them relax. Um, I've been feeding them um, some organic sugar and water. Um, and that's simply to uh, get them to pull wax. Because when you first have um, your, your nuke boxes, these are actually... A larger version a nuke box is a much smaller uh, it's a much smaller box that you can basically grow a colony in and if you want to move them to what these are you can later I opted to move them right to these these are uh, the middle one is a 10 frame deep and the uh, two on the outside there are called medium supers and there are 10 frame medium super and that um, and that's just so that they have room to expand, um, but they uh, it's just a larger version, so I don't have to have as much materials. It keeps my costs lower, and um, and trust me, they're happy. I checked on them um, earlier today, and that's why I didn't want to open them up again because you don't want to check your bees more than once every week or so, just because they know what they're doing and they're they're handling things. And the more you tamper with them, the more stressed out they become, and um, and just. Uh, the less things actually happen because then they're spent, they spend time defending their home, they get, they get all worked up, and they can't work on making their home. So, um, yeah, so I, I apologize about that, but I will show you one of these days. I will actually wait about another week, and um, Cindy and I, uh, another reason why I'm not going to touch these is because Cindy and I are actually going to be transporting them up to my cottage, so I'm letting them just set um, because the, the rule with moving your your beehives is because of the flight patterns when they orient themselves you can't move them any more than a couple feet or if you do you have to move them more than two miles so we're moving them way up to my cottage that way they can be at their final place because they can't stay here in the yard forever um, it's just not safe for kids I can't mow here so there's a whole lot of reasons but we're moving them to a much better location and um, and so we'll hopefully bring you all along for that as well and that's going to happen on Wednesday so in about two days um, maybe two to three days be expecting a video there because that's going to be very interesting and very fun um, and, uh, and we'll hopefully be able to document as much as we can obviously I can't guarantee anything because you know it's our first time moving them but um, I've done a lot of research and so we're going to move them properly now one of the questions which is actually the question of the week so the question of the week was sent in by Shishi she, she, she chick five and she was referring to the video before and she asked how do you know if you got the queen isn't it likely that she was under the pile and therefore still on the fence and she was referring to the swarm that was occurring on the fence there and the um, the reason why I know I got the swarm is and there's and there's never a guarantee I want to stress that that there is never a guarantee that you have the queen the only way you can tell is when uh, in the video when I when I swept them into the box and then I dumped them into the the box here. You'll notice that they will actually it's it's called marching and they will actually fan their tails to um, to waft the queen's pheromones and the pheromones is actually a, it's a chemical scent that the queen gives off and they will actually fan their their wings. And uh, they'll stick their their uh, maybe their thorax or their their 
butt, their rear end up in the air, and they will they'll fan, kind of like they're waving. And that will blow the pheromones through the air, and it will cause all the rest of them to come back to the hive. Now, the thing is, is that you need to also realize that sometimes there are pheromones left on the fence. So what you saw when the video was actually over with was the returning bees that were um, scout bees that were looking for a home, they were returning back with maybe a word of no, no hive found yet or um, hey we found a good home. And they were returning to those leftover pheromones on the fence there. So while you never know for sure, um, I went back later and I scraped those in the box as well and put them in there just to kind of move the process along. And it also helps um, eliminate the risk of not having the queens because sometimes you don't have the queen and, they, and you'll notice they'll all fly back to that same spot. And that's one way you can find out if you don't have the queen. So um, I know this episode is very, very quick, but you know, it's, uh, it's just been a, it's been a very stressful week to be honest. And, um, and so I will, I will have more, I promise. I'm going to do a lot more, but it's been crazy with these. We've had four swarms. Um, we're expecting a fifth one possibly. And uh, we have these here. I'm out of bee boxes, so I'm, I'm working overtime to make them and get them in there and take care of the bees, take care of the garden, upload videos for you all. So thank you all for understanding and being patient. Um, and uh, again, I apologize for not being able to show you the bees, but I promise you, um, at some point, I absolutely will show you the colonies um, and how they're progressing and stuff. So, um, but now it comes to the time for the YouTube Gardener of the Week, and that is One Yard Revolution. So go check out his channel. An absolute, de it, is, it is a deserved shout out. Um, his channel is just so fabulous, and he really promotes um, growing organically everything is uh, extremely interesting and and the quality is superb so I recommend you check out one yard revolutions channel and um, just uh, and let him know I, I sent you because I think he'll uh, enjoy these subscribers and plus like I said he totally deserves it so before it gets too dark and I get carried away by mosquitoes I'm going to sign off here but I promise you I'll be bringing you all along for a lot more episodes and how to's I just have to get this out of the way because this has been front and center importance right now to um, you kind of just get them out of the lawn and um, make sure that the place is safe for children and stuff because the last thing I want is someone to come along and get get curious and then end up getting stung by you know five or ten bees. It's just not something that I would wish on anybody. And I have a lot of um, I have a lot of uh, care for these bees as well as the people around me. So I just um, need to get that out of the way. Um, and also I want to give them a place that's going to be better suited for them. There are far more wildflowers and far more flowering trees up at the cottage than there are here. This is a relatively urban environment and yes you have clover, yeah you have some flowers, but um, not enough to sustain three full colonies and a fourth one now. So with four colonies I absolutely need to um, move them. So thank you all for understanding and uh, it's getting dark so I'm going to sign off but I will talk to you all later. Thank you all for tuning in for this very short episode here on Emma Gardner. And until next episode, this is Emma Gardner reminding you to grow big or go home. And I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.